What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, I don't think that I've ever been so excited to do a weapon review in Destiny up until now. Yeah, the review that I did on the Mita multi-tool was great, but there was so much hate on it because it was the Mita. Anyway, today we are going to talk about the exotic Void Grenade Launcher, the Colony, how to properly use it, and how to counter it. On paper, this weapon's stats aren't impressive, but when it performs, oh my god. Well, that's a totally different story. This thing tracks enemies and very well too. It has an RPM of 140, a blast radius of 20, a velocity of 28, a stability of 82, a reload speed of 64, and a handle end of 82. As for its hidden stats, it has a zoom of 13, an inventory size of 70, an aim assist of 60, and a recoil direction of 80. As for the colony's perks, for the intrinsic perk we have insectoid robot grenades, which this weapon's grenades are insectoid robots that chase targets and explode close to them. Then we have linear compensator, high velocity rounds, serve the colony, which insectoid robot grenades quickly repopulate the magazine from reserves while the colony is unequipped. And then last but not least we have composite stock. And for the weapon mods, we do have the plus five weapon mod attack, which comes stock on all exotics. Now, prior to the release of the Curse of Osiris, I have never, I mean never been any good with grenade launchers at all. I don't know, for some reason, I just couldn't hit the target and it got very, very frustrating, which is why I just stored them in the vault. Maybe for later on, just in case they actually got good. These insectoid robots, AKA minions, are like little demons themselves. <laughs> in PvE, this grenade launcher works very well against ad control, but not so good against yellow barred enemies. It actually has a very unique reload animation too, one not seen on any weapon before in Destiny. In PvP, you can definitely get two kills on the opposing team, or a possibility of four kills if the other team is injured already. But what kind of person would I be if I didn't tell you guys how to use this weapon to its full potential in PvP. So, after you pick up heavy ammo, don't just run off and shoot the first enemy you see. Instead, pay attention to the radar and hunt the enemy down. Prey on them. Yeah, I know, that didn't really help much, but it's all in the fun of the game. On a serious note, after picking up heavy ammo, if you are in an enclosed area and you see the enemy, shoot this weapon on walls. Yes, on the walls, or on the ceiling works as well. You need to be unpredictable. The reason for this is because after you shoot this weapon, if the enemy is paying attention, they will see your little minions running on the floor, or they might even hear it, and your opponent will just avoid them however they can. The only time, and I'll say this again, the only time you should shoot this weapon on the floor is if you are in an open area, but even then, you want to shoot the colony as close to the opponent as possible to give them less time to react. Now, your opponent's health will determine how many rounds you actually shoot. If your opponent is at full health and shield, then shoot two rounds to kill them. If your opponent is at half health and shield, then shoot only one round. This will automatically kill them. If you want to save ammo, then shoot your opponent with a kinetic or energy weapon first, then finish them off with one round of the colony. If you have multiple opponents in the area, then time your shots accordingly, but use the same method. And if you are being rushed or being team shot, then unload all of the rounds and take as many of those bastards as you can because 95% of the time, you will die anyway. Also, this weapon will track enemies around corners. So, use your radar properly then you can catch the enemy off guard. It's actually kind of funny when you shoot the colony around the corner and then you see a dead body do like a 180 in the air into your field of vision. Or when you know that your opponent is waiting for you around the corner and you shoot two rounds on the wall to kill them. It's very rewarding and believe me, I, I love doing it. Now, what kind of guardian would I be if I didn't tell you how to counter the colony? I mean, I would be an asshole, wouldn't I? So, in order to counter the colony, do not, and I repeat, do not try running away from it. These little minions are faster than a naked hunter running down the street with a pencil in their ear. Don't ask about the pencil. 
Instead, all you need to do in order to counter the colony is just jump. Yes, jump in the air, but high. The reason for this is because the colony will explode after it gets into close proximity of the enemy. It won't follow you into the air, so in turn, it'll explode underneath you. Now, I'm not sure if Shade Step or the Gambler's Dodge will make the Insectoid robots lose their tracking or not, but I don't think that they will. However, don't quote me on that. If any of you know if the Insectoid loses their tracking after Shade Step or Gambler's Dodge, then let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know what you guys think about the colony. Personally, I love this thing, and I have had more fun in PvP with grenade launchers than I ever had since Destiny 2 has been released. Now, I may even try this on the next Iron Banner, but I guess we're gonna have to wait and see. And that fellow guardian brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and share it. Feedback is always appreciated. If you have any ideas for a future video, then let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.